I'll go into NHK Nagoya. So they're even connected to the train system. So now we're here in uh, NHK Nagoya. We'll be taking uh, uh, images of some of the equipment. Uh, so although we cannot read the Japanese, but this shows you uh, a recording of some of the performances then. And then this is a device. Hmm. I would assume this has something to do with magnetic uh, recording. This is 1928 uh, radio. This is a microphone system. So different types of microphones here. And a, uh, an elementary speaker setup. So you can see there are three tuners here showing the frequencies. So I don't know really how to to make it work. I mean to operate it, but uh, we can just figure it out. This is a phonograph. I believe this is uh, sort of a mastering phonograph. Uh, I wouldn't touch it, but. Uh, I think the uh, the, <clears throat> the vinyl will be etched through here, sort of a mastering uh, disc. Old radios, so 1942 version. This is 1947, and this is the 1951 version. Some of the microphones this is rca microphone so i would have to ask the elders in the broadcast in the philippines if they're familiar with this type of microphone i'm sure they've seen this then 1952 and then a microphone connected to a reel a magnetic tape recorder this is 1958 So no cassette tapes then, all are open reel. You can see also the improvement. In 1952, you have the transistor radio made by Sanyo Electric Company or Corporation. And then this one is made uh, by National. I would assume it turned out to be National Panasonic later on. This is 1959. So we go. To the cameras. Uh -huh. This is 1951, and you have this uh, camera developed by NHK. It has three lens made by RCA. Sorry, it's not developed by uh, NHK. It is being used by NHK then, and it's manufactured by RCA, Radio Corporation of uh, America. So, how many lens do we have here? So I'm sure the elders would uh, uh, would know how to operate this and would bring them back to, uh, in time. This is also another camera. So as you can see, 1962, it became a little bit smaller and then one... Ah, no, there's th still three lenses inside. I don't know if you can see it. There's one, two, and three. And then the transistor radio. This is TR6. Hmm. I think the brand is Champion. And then, uh, camera again. Ariflex. So to give you an idea how big is it. Uh, 1953. And this is 1964. So just to show you the scale, you know. And then a television made by NEC. So this is the tube type. Uh, were those born in the uh, 50s to the 70s, I guess, even to the 80s. This is a common TV setup. Much like this, this is <coughs> colored television. 
made by National. 1969 for the moon landing. This is actually colored. So I recall during my my times as a child, we would change the channel here, and this is for the UHF tuner. So color adjustment is here, and I think this is the volume and also the power button. So we could adjust the tint and the color here. So we have two knobs to tune on the channel. <coughs> so this is a VTR model. It's FP1600J 1974. <coughs> then it has to be connected. This VTR has to be connected to this camera. So this is uh, an old uh, shoulder mounted camera. And then this is an example of a studio camera, 1964. So it has to be mounted to a pedestal. Naturally, <laughs> it's going to be super heavy. And these are the tally lights. So the artist would know if the camera is on, so they would know where to look at. So they still have this multiple lenses. And then goes to my generation. Uh, this one is also a shoulder mounted camera made by Sony HDW750 model with the VTR inside and all of the controls here. So this is the type of camera that I've seen when I started working in broadcast. <clears throat> so this is 1995, the steel tube type with a curb, larger television. So pretty common for both for those born in the 80s and to the 90s. Yes. KW32 HD1. So this is high definition after all. So we never had this high definition uh, CRT TV in uh, the Philippines. So in Japan they experimented high definition on analog TV broadcast. And then <coughs> 1976. This is uh, Betamax. Yeah, Betamax brings back memories of the youth in the uh, late 80s and the early 90s. So, favorite of most uh, young Filipino men, Betamax. So, this is a uh, hard disk based. Uh, oh, so HDD and it is also Blu-ray made by Panasonic. Yeah. Not, not much uh, adoption in the Philippines. And then this one is a camera uh, that was deployed uh, and used by JAXA or the Japan Aerospace. So it took the photo of Earth. So credit to JAXA and NHK. They developed this camera specifically uh, for use in 2007. So this kind of sums up uh, some of the equipment used by NHK then. Till next time, bye bye. So we just came out from the underground from the subway. So we're going up. So I think this is a communications uh, tower. And we'll take a video of uh, NHK tower. I have to circle back. I think this is an NHK that I came under, a sort of a park. And then from here, we'll start to see the tower, NHK Tower in Nagoya, which looks like a little bit of uh, NHK Tower Tokyo. There. It's a little bit dark, so I cannot. I lost my glasses. I mean, I broke it, so I got rid of it. So I don't know if I could zoom into the digital antennas. So there should be there. It's amazing, right? Till next time. 
I think this is a better view of, uh, of the tower. So I went to the other side uh, I, just to look for a smoking spot. But then I found out that this is a clearer view of uh, NHK Tower. So back again to smoking area hunting. Till next time.